Hello and welcome to a new video. I never told you about this, but 6 months ago I started a 10 HP Iron Man. By the way, this is inspired by Camp Q, so go check out his videos. Originally I wanted to know what is a good low level 10 HP Iron Man to kill people in the wilderness. So I went to a tournament world and did some experiments. And the thing I came up with is magic short bow with amethyst arrows and green DI chaps and whams. You can buy the green DI chaps and whams from shops because I can't kill infinite amount of dragons if I want to stay 64 range. Even though I could use a cannon, uh, it would give me more range XP. There's one problem though. Amethyst arrows need 92 mining, 85 crafting and 82 fletching, which are some huge requirements. So now let's get into it, how I started the 10 HP Iron Man out. Like nearly all Iron Man, I went to steal myself some tea and got myself the early 10k. Then I bought myself all pickaxes up to Eddie and did some quests so I can do Knight's Sword. So I needed a red berry pie, an iron bar and 15 mining. For the 15 mining I did Doric's quest, for the red berry pie I did Cook's assistant and some fishing. I collected the pie dish from the ground and did Knight's Sword with some help of my old so I don't die to the Ice Warriors. So then I did some mining up to level 40 and used all the coal to make myself some steel swords, sold those steel swords in Varrock and bought myself a rune pickaxe with that money. So now I had all the requirements to get myself up to a really high mining level. Then I did a lot of mother load mine. You always get gold nuggets when doing model load mine and you can buy different untradeable things with them. So first I bought myself the prospector set for more XP while mining. It's only a little boost, but since you have the gold nuggets anyway, it was worth buying. Then I bought myself the upper floor unlock as soon as I hit level 72. You need level 72 for it, I don't know why there is such an arbitrary level requirement on it. But there is. And the upper floor is a lot better than the lower floor. Because the veins deplete so much slower. So you get a lot more XP if you AFK as hard as I do. I just played this account on the side while playing about eight to 6 to 8 other accounts while doing it. At level 79 mining I finally had all unlocks from mother load mine. So this is the full prospector set, the two bags and the larger sack and upper floor. So if anybody is interested how long it takes to get all unlocks it's level 79. Two months after creating the account I hit level 85 mining. So you can see it takes a long time to get an account like that. Especially if you only play like 3 hours a day like I do. Some people play a lot more but I usually tend to play a lot of accounts but not too much time every day. So after I got bored a bit of mining I got myself level 5 crafting with sharing sheeps and fletching it into balls of wool. By the way this took a lot longer than expected. This is probably the worst XP per hour you can get in any skill ever. Then due to boredom out of mining I got myself some more smithing levels. First I got 40 smithing with some more steel swords so I have some GP to do blast furnace. So then I got all the way up to 60 smithing by just smithing all the ores I had from Mother Load uh, Mine. Mainly I made uh, mithril's, uh, mithril bars and smithed them into mithril swords which I then can sell to the shop. By the way here you can have a short look at my bank. At that time it was around 12.4 mil and I made steel plate bodies and mithril swords to keep on financing the use of the blast furnace. So right here I'm about to get level 68 smithing. Um, this level is important because I can make um, mithril plate bodies now and I think I nearly have enough mithril uh, bars to make 1000 mithril plate bodies. So let's have a look at the bank. By the way the method I did was always one inventory of gold plus coal and then one inventory of mithril ore plus coal. That way I'm not wasting the 
time of walking of the coal bag while doing gold ore. So you can see, oh, I have 6,000 mithril bars even. Bank value now on the hardcore Iron Man skiller, 16.9 mil, really nice. But I think with those mithril plate bodies, I will have enough money to buy a cannon once I smith them all into plate bodies. Um, so that's like 1.1k mithril plate bodies or 1.2k even, which should give me like over 3 mil, right? Should that give me that much money? I don't know. I think that's a good amount of money. I think that's like 3 mil in mithril plate bodies if I sell them to shops. And then I can afford a cannon, then I'll do the dwarf cannon quest make some cannonballs and get some stuff done. I really want the ice gloves, but I don't know how I will get the ice gloves if I will stay at one um, a hardcore Iron Man, because you need a lot of people to like kill everything and that will be interesting. But first I have to get some range levels so the cannon has some accuracy. Then I did Dwarf Quen quest, bought myself a cannon, Went to the shop in Deep Wildy to buy myself some runes for magic, splashed my magic level up a bit and made myself some teleport jewelry so I had an easier way around the game. So I just hit level 30 range. Um, I'm canning here at the Shazian house in Sia. I have an old south of me and an old north of me that blocked away of all the hill giants. This method was designed I think by Camp Q because I stole it from one of his videos. Um, so thanks for that. Um, also, I think I'll get some more range levels and keep like 1k can balls in the end. I can use the best range setup I was able to buy in shops now. So that's 37 range bonus, but the can's already quite accurate. It was really bad at level one, but now it hits like, I would say every second can ball which is nice. So yeah, I got killed by a hill giant and lost my hardcore status that way. Nice. I didn't really care about it because it's a 10 HP rushing Iron Man, but what really fucks me up currently is that I need to go back to Sia. I don't know how the hill giant got past my two other accounts, but it happened some way. So yeah. Be but this right here is level 40 range. So now I'm going to get myself some green d and then I'm going to try to get myself some ice gloves. By the way, you can buy the green d in the shop in Narda. So then I went for the ice gloves. Originally I thought I couldn't get them. I don't know why I thought that. But then I realized I could get them and I should have gotten them a lot sooner before doing blast furnace with a bucket because ice gloves are so much better. So then when I tried it I first died twice but then I figured out this method. So you place the cannon where I just placed it in the video, you start it and then stand behind that pillar and the ice queen will get stuck. Then with your other two accounts, you build something like a wall. So when you go for a refill of the cannon, the ice queen can't walk through the other accounts because you haven't freed those squares by walking onto them. So it will just be stuck behind them and you can refill the cannon without any problems. And one refill did job and I was able to get myself the ice gloves. By the way, you have to do all the cannon on the ice queen yourself, I think, otherwise it won't count as your Ice Queen kill as an Iron Man. One day when my Bond membership was used up, I was like, hmm, I can do some stuff in free to play now. So I made myself all the axes up to adamant, got myself 41 wood cutting and 41 fire making, 52 fishing and 54 cooking. Because I can train those skills as good in free to play as I could in members, so I was like, Hmm, I can take a quick break from members and bond my account back up later on. Then I spent a lot of time again on mining and smithing. So right here you can see when I hit 90 mining I was like 82 smithing. 
and then I hit 85 smithing with cannonballs. By the way, for all the smithing experience that was gained on this account right here, I used the ore from Mother Load Mine and ore I bought at Blast Furnace. So I bought at Blast Furnace extra coal to smith all the ore from Mother Load Mine because you don't get enough coal. And I bought extra iron to make steel bars for cannonballs. You can see 112k cannonballs need around 28k steel bars which is a lot of iron and I didn't mind 28k iron I just bought it at blast furnace because mother load mine gives none now with the newly acquired 85 smithing I was able to make myself uh, rune bars and then with those rune bars smith with the plus one boost from a dwarven stout some rune axes which was really nice because now I can train wood cutting as efficiently as it will get on this account right here and that way can train up my fletching. So since I need 82 fletching for amethyst arrows, I needed to train it up somehow and I decided to train it up by cutting trees and fletching it into bows. So from level 1 to 30 I did normal trees and oak trees and just fletched the best bow. From level 30 to 55 I did the same but with willow trees. So then at level 55 I decided to make 2.5k maple longbows so i cut 2.5k maple logs got myself 2500 flax or a bit more at lands and in sia it's the best place to collect flax in my opinion because it's really close to a deposit box then i got cut myself uh, or then i fletched myself two and a half k maple longbows and got all the way up to level 50 uh, 65 fletching so after playing the count for 6 months, I got myself to 91 out of 92 mining, 85 out of 90 smithing, because I want to be able to make rune crossbows. I got myself to 51 out of 85 crafting for the amethyst arrows, still a lot of to go right here but I don't really know how I want to train my crafting especially with one prayer I don't know if I can make battle staffs because how do I charge the, the orbs because everywhere where you can charge orbs there's monsters around if you know how to train crafting on a 10 HP Iron Man properly please tell me I'm not 100% sure then I still need 82 fletching, I'm at 65 right now, I'll just chop a lot of u logs AFK and also get some money out of it. Then the wood cutting, I only need 75 but I will get a lot more. Then for the range level, I only need to train to 64 to get the combat level of 33, that's perfect in my opinion. So that will be really easy and magic, I want to save the XP for magic so I can use it to enchant stuff and to alk stuff because I don't have an infinite amount of alks and I really want to alk all the all the adamant plate body the, the plate bodies that I will make. So let's have a look at the bank. So right here, first you can see only 414k. I used most of the money for can balls, so to buy extra coal and iron to make steel bars to make more cannonballs because the cannonballs right here are around 28k steel bars if I'm not mistaken so total bank value at 48.2 mil most of it in cannonballs around half 22 mil then we have the tab with all the mining and smithing and crafting stuff. I also bought some soda ash and some buckets of sand for some crafting, but I'm not sure if this is efficient. So main things right here are the adamant bars worth 10 mil. Um, those once I hit 88 smithing will give me a lot of GP. Then I have the tab with some teleports and some armor to splash. And now I could you just use the green dehyde ram braces to splash, but I didn't have those in the beginning, so I had to use a cursed goblin staff. So now I could use a normal staff to splash, which saves me some runes. Then I have a tab with all my axes. The rune axe is the only important one right here. Then I have a tab with all my fletching supplies. Also, 
maple loan bows worth 600k but i don't even know how i get the money out of them because i don't really want to alk them maybe i just sell them to shops but i don't know how efficient that is then i have a tab with some food mainly some salmon and trout and some fishing supplies and a full bank tab with random stuff this is everything for my bank and i think i did quite a lot already and i will keep playing this account on the side and i hope i will get some great progress on it by the way if you enjoyed this video please give it a like i spent a lot of time on it i'm working on this account for six months and playing an iron man getting content out of it is a lot harder than playing a normal account in my opinion especially if you go for boring goals in the beginning like i did with the mining and the smithing Leave any questions or anything in the comments and I'll read all the comments and answer to everything that's asked in there. Also join the CC Michaels first if you are in search of a CC. And this is everything for this video. Thank you for watching and bye.